from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Temperatures will be back near normal across the Bay Area today. Greg D will have your full weather forecast coming up. But first, though, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Facebook is cracking down on fake news. The social media giant removed hundreds of pages and accounts linked to two well-funded Russian disinformation operations. The people running the accounts represented themselves as independent news sources, but were actually employees of Russia's state-owned news agency Sputnik. Family and friends are going to gather to honor an eighth grade student killed while crossing Florida Avenue. An undercover deputy driving an unmarked car hit Josiah Penner last Friday. The memorial march will begin at 630 at Florida and 124th Avenue and then continue to a nearby sheriff's substation. The deputy who hit Josiah is not facing charges. The crash investigation is not finished yet. Investigators are looking into whether a man's affiliation with a biker gang led someone to kill him. Deputies haven't said who shot William Earl outside his Pasco County home. His fiance found his body in their driveway in Spring Hill yesterday morning. Neighbors are relieved. Deputies say the public is not in danger. The way I look at it is if it's for a specific person, I'm not that concerned. They're not, it's not like a break in where they're not looking for stuff. They're going after a specific person. The sheriff's office says Earl was a member of the Pagan Motorcycle Club. They're not sure if that was the shooter's motive. Clearwater City Council will discuss two big projects at tonight's meeting. The city wants to use six million of your tax dollars set aside to replace Sand Key Bridge to renovate Spectrum Field instead. That's the spring training home for the Philadelphia Phillies. That money would come out of Clearwater's share of the penny for Pinellas tax. Clearwater leaders will also discuss a large hotel project proposed for the site of the how the chart house suites site on Clearwater Beach. Dozens of neighbors are fighting this plan. They say the nine story hotel would impact safety and does not fit the city's vision. All right, here's Greg now with our forecast. Uh, looking much better Dee, as we head into this afternoon. Lots of sunshine temperatures will get up into the upper 60s and the low 70s for a brief while around 3 o'clock today. Then this evening temperatures will cool quickly. If you're heading out to the Bolts game in at Amelie Arena, a little bit cool to start as you head into Amelie. But as you're exiting, uh, bring a jacket with you or wear that jacket that you're wearing inside outside as temperatures will cool into the 50s. It does turn even warmer by the weekend. Your seven day forecast right now at ABCActionNews.com. Do you? All right, thanks. Greg. Soon you might see robots wandering down grocery store aisles. Employees from Jabel, one of Pinellas County's employers, are in New York showing off the robots, which would be used to identify various hazards like spills. The idea is to give store employees more time to help customers. You can, go, you, know, you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And also don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians, make yourself visible. Wear bright, reflective colors, especially at night, because safety doesn't happen by accident.